anything else I need before the final stretch. There's no more magnum ammo, but... Actually, I'm gonna go in and get uh, these blue herbs real quick. Just for a very specific reason. Just get one. Should be good enough. Transmission, respond immediately. I'm here. What's up? I got us a ride. The chopper engines are running and ready to go. On my way. The city's about to become ground zero. Hurry up! And don't forget to take that device with you. What does it do? That device tracks the distance of the approaching missile. Make sure you bring it with you. Huh. Now listen to me. Don't give up. We're both gonna survive this. Just get over here! Alright, so Carlos has got a chopper. It's a portable radar receiver. Alright, so... Ooh, some magnum bullets here. There we go. Warning. Missile attack confirmed. Oh, shit. Warning. Warning. Missile, Missile attack confirmed. confirmed. Emergency level D. All personnel evacuate immediately. Alright, there's no going back, and the timer has begun. Generator manual. Shotgun shells, if you even care. Ah! Oh. Classified photo file. So that should have been the final file. Aha! Okay, so here's a secret that I kept until now. If you collect the files in the exact order that they're listed here, then what happens is the very first file becomes Jill's diary. So let's read that. That is officially all of the files. And 
all of the maps. Oh, shit. Well, there's no going back there. A transportation pod. It's marked as T. So that's what's trans... That's what transported the Mr. X. And look at that! It looks like Mr. the Mr. X we defeated in Resident Evil 2, the mutated version. So there must have been more than one. Power is going outside. It cannot be unlocked now. Alright, those aren't moving right now. Check in, system. Another Mr. X I saw there just a second ago, like right there, getting crushed. What happened in here exactly? All right, so this one's lit up. So. Battery connected. Ah, so that's what we got to do. Oh, jeez, what is it now? Are you kidding me? Now it's beating on the tyrant. Oh great, and it just mutated even further. Alright, this is the final mutation of Nemesis. This battle is actually easier than any other battle, if you ask me. unlocked and nemesis is like defeated once and for all damn that thing just obliterated him all right let's go oh come on <gasps> oh great okay so it's not over all right this is the final live selection in the game and what are my choices exterminate the monster or ignore it and evacuate I'm actually not gonna do anything. And this is why I brought a blue herb. Just watch this. So all it does is quickly squirt at you, and then it succumbs to its wounds. However, he just put me in poison status. 
What? I have a blue herb! <laughs> Thought you would infect me further, but you failed. Fail! Alright. Alright, so now going back through there, it's an elevator control panel. Chill! Over here! Yay! Final FMB sequence. I guess we're all set. All right then, we're out of here. Oh no. It's here. Sure is. It's time to go. President and the Federal Council have passed judgment over the civilians of Raccoon City. The President and Federal Council have ruled that the Bacalus Terminate operation is the best course of action for this extreme situation and have since executed. Based on that fact, Raccoon City has been literally wiped off the map. Current reports have the death toll surpassing the 100,000 mark. Our hearts go out to those poor civilians of Raccoon City. Ladies and gentlemen, is Resident Evil 3 Nemesis for you? This is one of my favorite endings to the re to a Resident Evil game. Like, even though Resident Evil 2 is my favorite game overall, Resident Evil 3 has my favorite ending: the massive nuclear explosion, and then the sad conclusion to the end of Raccoon City, and then finally this ending the end credits with this nice, soothing music. Like, it's freaking awesome. There's, it's rock and roll, too, somewhat. This is my favorite ending in the entire franchise, really. That was the original showing of the end of Raccoon City. It's been, of course, the Raccoon City incident throughout the series, like in mostly spin-offs, has been retold several times. You see several different versions of that ending explosion, but that was the foremost original right there. It's pretty good too. All right. Well, once again, however, this whole entire gameplay, I was doing a lot of non-canon events, so most of what you saw isn't actually what happens throughout the Raccoon City incident, so you will see more canonical events throughout the next couple Let's Plays, because there are, I'm going to do a total of three, and I did one, so there are two left. Oh, ouch! <laughs> ouch! All right. Well then, took me f four and a half hours. 
I've saved five times. I think I used like three or four first aid sprays. So yeah, my grade was pretty bad here. That is the worst grade I have ever received. <laughs> An E grade. I don't even know if I unlocked anything because of that. <laughs> you can play the extra game now. <laughs> You've got the boutique key and the costume. Okay, so now I can unlock the boutique. Oh, we got an epilogue. Yeah, Resident Evil 3 has its own epilogues. After escaping the city, Jill set out to join Chris Redfield. However, all she found was an empty hideout of Chris's. On the floor was Chris's knife. Jill left without hesitation because she firmly believes that Chris is still alive. She will search for him until she finds him. Then they can go and put an end to Umbrella. Alright. Well, if any of you know the entire Resident Evil franchise timeline, Jill does eventually find Chris. Alright, so that's another thing about hard mode, is when you beat the game, you unlock these epilogues. And there's actually quite a few of them. Alrighty, so we have done it. So we're gonna overwrite that save to do a new game plus. Next game. Zero, zero. Alright. Skip that. So I'm gonna load the game real quick. Resident Evil. Alright, so I have options. I can continue, I can restart, which would just start me from the beginning. And then you got the Mercenaries minigame. And this is where we will go into once we're done with the main game. And you got the epilogue. So, okay, so there are a total of eight epilogue files. So yep, the only one we unlocked was Jill's, of course, but you will see all the other ones in time. Alrighty, well, that is the end of my first playthrough of Resident Evil 3 Nemesis. I really hope you enjoyed the line of videos. Whew, man, that was tiring. It is, like, I started this at 8pm my time. It is like 1.10 now in the morning, so... I am kind of tired, and I'm so glad I finally got this over with. I mean, I knew it was going to take longer than usual. I didn't know it was going to take that long, though. So I am glad it's over, and for the next couple playthroughs, it definitely will not take as long. One, because I'm going to evade Nemesis every chance I get, and two, I'm going to make it so that I get through as fast as possible in the next playthrough. I'm naming it my speedy run, so I should get the A rank in the next playthrough, hopefully. And since I'm not going to be facing Nemesis so much, I shouldn't be using any first aid sprays, and I shouldn't have to save nearly as often. So, yep, we're going to be just fine for the next playthrough, and it's going to be much faster. So, until then, this is Shankster94, aka the Gamer Shankster. Rate, comment, subscribe. See you guys next time in the second playthrough, which will be my speedy run. Peace out. Stay cool, you guys are awesome.